Taiwanese cuisine Chinese, Taiwan Kai Pinyin, Taiwan Sai, Pei, Hog, Tai On Chai, or Taiwan Liao Li, Taiwan Liao Li, Tai On Liao Li has several variations. In addition to the following representative dishes from the people of Hoklo ethnicity see Taiwanese people, there are also Aboriginal, Hakka, and local derivatives of Japanese cuisine and Chinese cuisine. Taiwanese cuisine itself is often associated with influences from mid to southern provinces of China, most notably from the province of Fujian but influences from all of mainland China can easily be found. A notable Japanese influence also exists due to the period when Taiwan was under Japanese rule. Traditional Chinese food can be found in Taiwan, alongside Fujian and Hakka style as well as native Taiwanese dishes, including dishes from Guangdong, Yangshi, Chaoshan, Shanghai, Hunan, Sichuan and Beijing. Ingredients and culture Pork, seafood, chicken, rice, and soy are very common ingredients. Beef is far less common, and some Taiwanese particularly the elderly generation still refrain from eating it. A traditional reluctance towards slaughtering precious cattle needed for agriculture, and an emotional attachment and feeling of gratitude and thanks to the animals traditionally used for very hard labor. However, due to influences from the influx of out-of-province Chinese in the early 1900s, the Taiwanese version of beef noodle soup is now one of the most popular dishes in Taiwan. Taiwan's cuisine has also been influenced by its geographic location. Living on a crowded island, the Taiwanese had to look aside from the farmlands for sources of protein. As a result, seafood figures prominently in their cuisine. This seafood encompasses many different things, from large fish such as tuna and grouper, to sardines and even smaller fish such as anchovies. Crustaceans, squid, and cuttlefish are also eaten. Because of the island's sub-tropical location, Taiwan has an abundant supply of various fruit, such as papayas, starfruit, melons, and citrus fruit. A wide variety of tropical fruits, imported and native, are also enjoyed in Taiwan. Other agricultural products in general are rice, corn, tea, pork, poultry, beef, fish, and other fruits and vegetables. Fresh ingredients in Taiwan are readily available from markets. In many of their dishes, the Taiwanese have shown their creativity in their selection of spices. Taiwanese cuisine relies on an abundant array of seasonings for flavor, soy sauce, rice wine, sesame oil, fermented black beans, pickled radish, pickled mustard greens, peanuts, chili peppers, cilantro sometimes called Chinese parsley, and a local variety of basil, ju sen ta kau chanda, h. Nine-story pagoda. An important part of Taiwanese cuisine are shaochi, substantial snacks along the lines of Spanish tapas or Levantine mies. The Taiwanese shaochi has gained much reputation internationally. Many travelers go to Taiwan just for shaochi. The most common place to enjoy shaochi in Taiwan is in a night market. Each night market also has its own famous shaochi. Moreover, the Taiwanese shaochi has been improving to a higher level. Nowadays, Taiwanese shaochi not only served in night markets but some luxury and high-end restaurants. These restaurants use higher quality ingredients and creative presentations, reinventing dishes whilst keeping the robust flavors. The prices usually jump by twice the price or even higher in the restaurants. The Taiwanese government supports the Taiwanese shaochi and has held national shaochi events in Taiwan regularly. Regional specialities Typical dishes Vegetarian restaurants are commonplace with a wide variety of dishes, mainly due to the influence of Buddhism and other syncretistic religions like I Quan Dao. These vegetarian restaurants vary in style from all you can eat to pay by the weight and of course the regular order from a menu. There is a type of outdoor barbecue called Kong Eo. To barbecue in this manner, one first builds a hollow pyramid up with dirt clods. Next, charcoal or wood is burnt inside until the temperature inside the pyramid is very high the dirt clods should be glowing red. The ingredients to be cooked, such as taro, yam, or chicken, are placed in cans, and the cans are placed inside the pyramid. Finally, the pyramid is toppled over the food until cooked. 
Many non dessert dishes are usually considered snacks, not entrees, that is, they have a similar status to Cantonese dim sum or Spanish tapas. Such dishes are usually only slightly salted, with lots of vegetables along with the main meat or seafood item. Taiwanese dishes Desserts Aiyu jelly, a gelatinous dessert made from the seeds of a fig-like fruit, ficus pumilla var. Akiatsang. Served on ice. Baobing, also known as choa pung, a Chinese shaved ice dessert very common in China, Taiwan, Malaysia, and Vietnam. Bubble tea, aka boba milk tea, also known as pearl milk tea, chewy tapioca balls added to milk tea. Traditional cakes are not always of the same composition depending on the flavor. There is the moon cake which has a thick filling usually made from lotus seed paste or sweetened red bean paste and surrounded by a relatively thin crust and may contain yolks from salted duck eggs. It is traditionally eaten during the festival for lunar worship and moon watching. Mooncakes are offered between friends or on family gatherings while celebrating the festival. The Mid Autumn Festival is one of the four most important Chinese festivals. There are other cakes that can mix salty ingredients with sweet ones to create a balance while enjoying these delicacies with tea. The crust could be shiny from applying a layer of egg yolk before putting in the oven, or not in that case it is often wider and the crust has more layers. Grass jelly Chinese, Xian Sao Pei, Hog, Shan Chao Mesona Procumbens served hot or cold. Moachi, Ma Si Moa Kai, a soft rice cake like Japanese Daifuku Mochi. Flavors of the fillings can vary, ranging from all kinds of beans to nuts. Oaping, Uz Bing a pung, an ice cream made of taro root paste. Pineapple cake, a square short crust pie filled with pineapple filling. One of Taiwan's best known dessert pastries. Zukok quake cakes made with a dough from glutinous rice flour and combined with a ground cooked paste of naphalium affine or mugwort to give it a unique flavor and green color. The dough is commonly filled with ground meat or sweet bean pastes. Duha Douha soft tofu served with syrup and toppings such as peanuts, adzuki beans, tapioca, and mung beans. Served hot or cold. Topic. Night market dishes Taiwan's best known snacks are present in the night markets, where street vendors sell a variety of different foods, from finger foods, drinks, sweets, to sit down dishes. In these markets, one can also find fried and steamed meat filled buns, oyster filled omelettes, refreshing fruit ices, and much more. Aside from snacks, appetizers, entrees, and desserts, night markets also have vendors selling clothes, accessories, and offer all kinds of entertainment and products. Various drinks are also often sold, ranging from bubble tea stands to various juice and tea stands. Crepe, adapted from the original French version, a very thin cooked pancake, it has a much crispier texture, rather like a cracker. Very popular in the early 2000s. Fruit or bean smoothies, milk or ice is blended on the spot with fresh papaya, mango, watermelon, azuki bean, or mung bean. Fried glutinous rice balls, slightly sweet in flavor. Fried chicken pieces, thumb-sized chunks of deep-fried chicken sprinkled with white pepper, chili and fried basil. Topic. Food of the Taiwanese Aborigines Taiwan's food and food culture is very much diversified and largely influenced by the exodus of Han people. However, one part of the Taiwanese food culture that remains integral is that of the Taiwanese indigenous peoples. Though the indigenous population only make up less than 2% of Taiwan's overall population, it is notable that their foods eaten and ways of preparation are distinguishable from the more typical Chinese-influenced cuisine. The Aborigines' diet very much depends on nature. With profuse vegetation and wild animals, the Aborigines were natural hunter-gatherers. Essentially, much of what Aborigines ate depended on their environment, that is, whether they lived in coastal or mountainous areas. Tribes like Amos, Atale, Sisiat and Bunan hunt what they can, and gather what they cultivate. On the other hand, tribes like the Yamis and the Thou have fish as a predominant source of food. Majority of foods consisted of millet, taro, sweet potato, wild greens and game like boar and rat. 
This is in contrast to the main foods eaten by the Han, which consisted of rice and chicken. Game meats for those living in the mountainous areas include deer, and flying squirrel intestines, a delicacy as regarded by the Bunin people. Another is stinky meat, that is, maggoty game that has begun to rot, which is then barbecued, fried, seasoned with garlic and ginger then served with spicy sauce. The Amis, apart from meat, had much greens to eat, largely due to the belief that anything a cow ate, was also edible by humans. The Bunins, who are primarily hunters of wild animals, would dine on stone-grilled pork, boar, deer, and hog roast. The Yami tribe, located off Taidung coast, fed on many types of fish, including the prized flying fish or alibangbang. A speciality includes rice, mixed with river fish and wild vegetables, served in large bamboo trunks. Apart from being a staple food, millet was always produced as wine. Not just for drinking, millet wine played an important role in being used as offerings during festivals, births and weddings. Millet wines are all made in the homes of the aborigines. Sticky rice is put into a wooden steamer after being soaked in water. Once cooled, the rice is put into a pot of water, then pulled out and combined with rice yeast. After four or five days of being placed in a large jar, the rice is placed in a sieve or rice bag, whilst the alcoholic liquid drips out and is stored away. Also important to the indigenous Taiwanese people's cuisine are the sweet potato and taro, favored for their perennial nature and low maintenance. The cultivation of root vegetables rather than typical seedling plants was notably prominent, with archaeological evidence suggesting as early as 4th millennium BC, from the Dapunking site, in Guanyin Mountain, New Taipei City. Given the versatility of both vegetables, they were usually boiled or steamed, and eaten by itself or as ingredients in soups and strews. Without the need for advanced agricultural technology, taro and sweet potatoes were a prime preference for farming. Canadian missionary George Mackay said of 19th century Taiwan, the bulb of the sweet potato is planted in March. In about six weeks the vines are cut into pieces eight inches long, which are planted in drills, and from these vine cuttings the bulbs grow and are ripe about the end of June. A second crop is planted in a similar way in July and is ripe in November, Ibid. The influence of sweet potatoes and taro has been vast. They are still widely present in modern-day Taiwan, be it on the streets, night markets, or in successful food chains like Meat Fresh or Xi'an Yu Xi'an. Due to the absence of contemporary culinary utensils such as the refrigerator, gas stovetops and ovens, the indigenous resorted to other means to prepare their food. Upon bringing back hunted game meat, the aborigines would preserve the meat with either millet wine or salt. Another cooking technique involved the heating up of stones by fire, which are then placed inside a vessel with other certain meats and seafood, which are cooked from the heat of the stones. Foods were mostly prepared by steaming, boiling or roasting, in order to infuse flavors together, yet preserve the original flavors. This again is contrasted with the Han, who adopted skills like stir-frying and stewing. Meat was also put on a bamboo spit and cooked over the fire. A cookbook published in 2000 by the CIP and National Kaohsiung University of Hospitality and Tourism, listed some foods of the main Taiwanese aboriginal tribes, showing the aborigines' adherence and passion for natural foods. Amos Nation, Alavongvong meat and sticky rice dumpling packed in leaves, a li feng feng stir-fried wild vegetables. A tail nation, grilled meat on stone, shi ban kao ru lang ying steamed sticky rice cake. Lang Ying Bunan Nation, Bunan Millet Cake, Bu Nong Guo Millet Rice Xiao Mi Fan Paiwan Nation, Millet Chinafu Millet and Pork Meat Ball, Xiao Mi Chi Na Fu Jin Ball Sorghum and Pork Dumpling Packed in a Banana Leaf Jin Bo Le Puyama Nation, Yinafei Mountain Cake, Yi Na Fei Shan De Guo Fried Wild Rat with Basil Ju Sen Yi Shu Rukai Nation, Kinabu Taro and Meat Dumpling, Chi Na Bu Grilled Boar Saisiat Nation, grilled boar with papaya, Mu Gua Ban Shan Zhu Ru assorted wild flowers, Yi Wa Pin Pan Cassava and Spare Ribs Soup. Shu Shu Pai Gu Tang Sao Nation, bamboo cooked rice, Zhu Tong Fan Banana Cake. Shang Jiao Gao Yami Nation, boiled taro and crap, Yu Ni Jia Xie Ru grilled fish steamed dried fish Zheng Yu Gan Though Taiwan is home to many cuisines, there are still restaurants which keep the spirit of Aborigine cuisine alive. 
Whilst chefs in such restaurants may need to tweak traditional recipes to suit contemporary taste buds, emphasis of natural foods is still extant. The annual Indigenous People's Healthy Cuisine and Innovative Beverage Competition, partly sponsored by the Council of Indigenous Peoples and the Tourism Bureau, provides prize money to contestants who creatively use traditional indigenous ingredients in healthy ways. Other similar competitions are held by local governments, such as Kaohsiung City. In Tainan, indigenous people may sell their food at the Cha Ha Mu Aboriginal Park. Such trends are all to promote the wonderful taste of Aboriginal Taiwanese cuisine. See also Agriculture in Taiwan <laughs>